Alrighty folks, it is time to drain that hatch. Hey! She's sucking! She's sucking! Oh! 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 You got- Oh! Oh no, no, dude! Oh, something touched me. Can get him at the end? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! I don't know what that was. Oh, oh god, she's a- oh, oh, oh. Ah. Holy smoke! Shoo, doggy! Oh, let's go! See, look. That was a good one. Womp womp. Oh, there it is. Trout, bluegills, crappie. <laughs> Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump in, I gotta let you know that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that's trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. With BetterHelp, you can go to therapy from the comfort of your own home via phone call, video chat, or even messaging. You get to choose whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. If you guys wanna check it out, it'll be linked at the very top of the description down below, or you can just go to betterhelp.com slash flair to get a special discount on your very first month. To get started, you'll fill out a questionnaire to assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with a therapist who has years of experience helping people with struggles like yours. In most cases, you'll be matched with a therapist in 48 hours or less. You can schedule therapy sessions with ease in the app at a convenient time for you, and if your first therapist isn't the right fit, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, like I said, click the link down in the description down below or just go to betterhelp.com slash flair to get a special discount for your very first month. Huge shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, let's get back to the video. Shoo! Alrighty folks, it is time to drain that hatchery. We gotta figure out what is left in here. Okay, we've been doing fishing videos out here. We've caught trout, we've caught bluegills, we've caught hyras, we've caught crappie. That's pretty much it. That's what we stocked in here. And in fact, I actually I saw some small bluegills the other day and I thought, I don't remember stocking those small guys. So I'm like, there's no way something spawned, right? I wouldn't think anything spawned. What are you munching on? Oh, really? Trying to challenge that toilet plumbing today, or what are you thinking? Really? So we're actually gonna drain this sucker. You might be thinking, well, why you drain it? Two reasons. One, the water coming from here and going into the pond will therefore increase the amount of water in the pond, which is what we're after, right? We're filling it. Two, we gotta see what's in here, what made it through winter, because we, we really don't know what made it. Okay, we ended up putting a bunch of bluegills in here, a bunch of hybrids, a bunch of crappie, um, and so and, and trout. We gotta see what's left in here. The other thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the good fish. Okay, I'm gonna describe good fish. In is true bluegills, okay? No hybrids, no crappies, no trout, no catfish, none of that. We want true bluegills only in the big pond because if you're trying to grow big bass, you don't want any other competition. You want any other predators coming in and taking, you know, the bait, the, the, the forage from the bass. You want all the forage to be for the bass so the bass get as big as bass can possibly get. But you might be thinking, well then what are you gonna do with the hybrids? What are you gonna do with the trash fish? Let's call them that. Let's, hey, no, 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 not trash. Let's call them catch and cook fish, okay? Big hybrids, big old crappie, big old trout. Those are catch, clean, cook fish okay big bluegills are not so what we're gonna do is we're going to drain this thing down today so we can see what survived winter since the time we stocked it we're gonna go through we're gonna get down there get down and dirty and we're gonna net out fish and we're gonna take the good fish the good true true bluegills there's some keggers in here and we're gonna put them in the pond whatever we don't put in the pond we'll just fill this thing back up maybe even just like halfway to keep them alive we've got a secret project in the works where we've got a place for we have a new new pond I won't announce it yet we've got a new pond coming soon okay that we can put the catch can catch clean cook fish app and that doesn't mean we have to have this hatchery completely empty but the idea behind a hatchery is to raise fish and then put them in the big pond so there's no point in spending money on feed of basically making crappie really big if we're not gonna put the crappie in the big pond so we really only want to put bluegills back in here to grow minnows potentially and keep in mind we still want to put another hatchery pond over here i want to i want a shallow that one over there that's going to be the breeding grounds okay that's going to be like three foot deep just straight spawn city this is going to be the grow tank this pond right here is eight foot deep this is where we're going to put the fish in it, where we're just going to juice them up, and we're going to get them as big as possible, as quick as possible. That way, grow the bluegills ourselves, because if you guys bought fish before, the smaller the fish, the less expensive it is, the bigger the fish, the more expensive it is. So, if we buy small fish and grow them ourselves, we're saving money. We're almost making money. Probably not, but that's the idea, rather than buying just true big fish right away. So, boys, they're, look at them working out there. It's like we got the, the whole the whole crew. Banjo handling that hose like a champ. Yeah. Get, so, we've got the uh, transfer tank here. So this thing is going to suck water through the green hose, out the blue hose, down into the pond. I'll show you guys what the pond looks like. The car is pretty much gone, so, okay? It's pretty much completely covered. So we, that means, I'm gonna guess there's probably five, maybe six foot deep water in this thing total. So it's it's filling up quick, but draining the hatchery should hopefully fill it up a little faster. So, bam, that's what she looks like. You, you got wet. Are you gonna make it? 
okay so this thing's been filling you know for non-stop for about a month now okay but dumping this much water plus we're gonna keep the well water going how many gallons per minute is this sucker you remember huh? yeah is it 200 yeah 200 plus 20. So this should be, in theory, this should be 10 times the gallons per minute that the well is putting in there. So I don't, it'd be interesting if it goes up at all. You know what I mean? We're gonna run out of water real fast. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's there. not a, there's not a ton of water. It's eight foot deep though. I mean, I don't I mean, You spread that out across this thing. Yeah, you know, but it, anyways, pond's looking good. So pond's there, it is ready to go. If you're curious, the minnows that we put in here, I don't know where they're at. I assume they're alive. Okay, we because we, ha we haven't seen any. So we're assuming the minnows are alive, but they're doing their thing. I will say in the minnow video, we mentioned the heron. I'll put the clip in here. Catch him. All right, he was standing on top of the car doing heron things. Okay, he's so looking for them minners. So we're, we're gonna declare war on these herons eventually. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this sucker fired up. I'll be curious how quickly this thing drains. We're gonna basically time lapse it draining down and then Big Junior's gotta get on some uh, waders and go dipping or something. Oh yeah. Hand, hand fishermen, we gotta find only good bluegills. The rest of them we gotta stay. I, I was teasing him, I didn't tell him, but I said we've got a secret pond that we can put the catch clean cook fish in. Oh, but I didn't tell him though. though. I didn't tell him, I couldn't, I, I, I gotta give him a little bit, a little, little, sneak, little sneaky sneak. So we're gonna turn this sucker on. To 200 gallons a minute, suck it down, put it in the other pond, which will raise the elevation, and we're gonna see what we got left. We'll take out the good fish, we'll stock them in the big lake, we'll leave the not good fish, and we'll just fill this pond back up so they stay alive. You guys stay tuned. Oh, she's starting to suck, look at it. Right here, it's coming up, boys. Slow and steady, slow and steady. It doesn't feel like 200 gallons You know, minute. I wasn't gonna say that, but. Hey! She's sucking. She's sucking. We're going, boys. Oh, God, yeah, that's 200 gallons a minute for sure. Sheesh. Uh-oh. We might have some erosion. Oh, oh, oh. She's spraying. That's 200 gallons a minute, boys. That's the PSI we're after. Looky there. Oh, God, yeah. We got to figure out the erosion, though. What do you think? Should we go grab a piece of that landscape fabric? Lay it down? Yeah, we need to put something down because it's going to just wash this Let's sucker away, it won't it? Yeah. Turn it off. To kill it. We gotta get something to extend it out a little it, bit. Make big, that, that's getting it, dude. That, make Big Junior sit here and make it land in the lake. That's so what I'm not saying. Eroding anything. That, dude, if we had the PSI like this, like hey, we'd be, we'd be fishing. We'd be ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna put a erosion preventer and we'll kick it back on. Stay tuned. Folks, it's the next day. Bam! The hatchery is not hatchering. Many, not, not much is hatching from the hatchery. So, anyways, that's what it looks like. I couldn't get any more water to come down without us going down there. And then I was like, maybe I shouldn't go down there myself in case I get stuck. Not in the good way, the bad way. And so then we waited. I was like, let's just wait for tomorrow. Oh, there's a trout. Look at him. You look at Buddy swimming right at the surface. Oh God, yeah. So there's still a couple foot. So what we might do is slide down there. We might turn the pump on and try to get a position where it'll get more water out. I mean, that would be better. But we here's our system. Okay, we've got a seine net, we've got a dip net, okay? Now we've got a trash can, that's for the trash fish, aka catch clean cook fish, aka not what's going in our pond, but what would potentially go in a different project we're working on. The cooler is gonna be the good fish. The good, and then, uh, this is for extra. What, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get all the fish up here and then sort them and say, you know, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. And then all the bad ones, we put them back and all the good ones, we take them to the new pond. So, Are you going first, Big Junior? I feel like I'm gonna possibly fall. Look out. Do you see all the fish? I need some water in these buckets. How's that going? Huh? Slide. You'll be all right. Now you got you it. Think I'm gonna catch at the bottom? No, you got it. No, you got it, Big Junior. There's nothing to grab. You got it. No, I got it. You, do you want the winch line to hang on to? No. I'm Are you though? Because I feel like you're not. It's really slippery down here. Is it? Yeah. You got. Oh! Oh no! Don't do it! Oh no, God! How Maybe deep is it? Fish. I don't know yet. I'm not in it. Swipe that net. Oh, they're touching me. Are they? I just got. Huh? He got touched. Oh, it's oh, there's Look still some water. Catch fish, bud. Oh yeah, there's 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 a little bit of water in this. See if you can get one. I think I'm standing on a turtle. What would be down here? That's... I don't. Not a turtle. Grab it. See what happens. Catch, catch fish. Oh, you got one! No way! You know what? You got a trout on the first swipe? Are you kidding me? Really? I just kicked another one. So there's, you think there's a bunch of trout is what you're thinking or what? I don't know. We don't know how much is left of anything. I mean, we're going to have to get some more water out of here though. There's too there's too much water. We got to get it drained down as, as much as we possibly can. So you got, you, you who's winning? You or the trout? Not me. Look at this system. I feel like this is a pretty good system. And then he goes in the trash bin because he's a trash fish because he's a trout. We don't want them dirty trout in the bass pond. Huh? 
Little bluegills? Here, throw them yeah. in the bucket. I mean, I guess I did. I don't know. It was eight months ago. I don't know what we put in here. Apparently, we did. If it's in here, we put it in here. That's. I'm guessing that's how that what works. What bluegill is this? That looks like a good kind. Whoa, is that the good did you kind? See that? No. What happened? I just stepped right here and like three trout busted. Really? <laughs> he looks like a good one, doesn't he? He looks pretty normal. He don't look like a. He, that's not a hybrid. No, it's a true bluegill. That's a good one, right? Yeah. 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 He stays. Keep? Put him in the keep bin. All right, buddy. There you go. Dude, All right. Dude, good. Dude. Bad. You guys stay tuned. Boys ready for mobile or what? Better document in case I die here. What do you think? How are you gonna get back out? That's the real question. You think you just repel your, or what's the opposite of repel? Unrepel. Propel. Propel. That's a drink. That's pretty tasty. It is a good yeah, drink. Not going. All right, should I, should I, I kind of want to like do the thing where you wrap it and I like repel down, but then I feel like if I, if I slip, I'm just gonna slam on your well, back. Uh, what do you think? You have to try. You wear a belt for that, brother. That's not how that works. I got a belt. All right, what do you think? Do you have any tips? Was it, was it really bad? I mean, just hold on to the liner. All this is gonna make you do a swing like Tarzan. <laughs> yeah. It's much more gravel on the other side. You got it. I believe in you. Ah. As soon as you hit that stuff, it's wet. Hey, that'll do. How'd that go? Not good. You yeah, poop. you're a little you got, slimy. You got poop on you. Well, I don't know how I'm getting out. That was really slippery right there. Probably should have built like a ladder. Or something. That'd have made way too much. We sense. have an extension ladder that would. We might work. need it, but hey, we're here. All right, Big Junior's fish wrangled service oh, at yes. your service. All right, Big Junior, ready? Get your saying that. Oh, oh wow. Ah, oh, yeesh. All right, let's start with that. Should we work from? No, we should go from this way, right? Yeah. Big Junior's saying that service. Oh, something touched me. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah that's weird. All right, so we're gonna try saning and just cut. Oh, we could, we couldn't get any. Our our pump won't. It won't do the pump thing, huh? Yeah, they're floats. So we're just gonna have to deal with this water, which is fine. I think we can still make it work. It'd be a little tougher, but keep coming because we want to pull it kind of tight. Maybe tighten it up a little bit. That's probably as good as I can get. Don't you want it a little bit loose so it kind of rides the bottom? Yeah, because I, I don't want to go, if I go way up on this ridge, it'll leave a gap in the bottom. We'd probably be better off just banking on that. They're not going to make it between me and the, po the pole here. All right, and just drag the PVC without absolutely eating it because I feel like I'm going to. I'm also going to fall. Because I'm on a slope right now. This is really hard to walk on, I'm not gonna lie. It's like walking kinda on ice. Dude, this is so hard. Oh, there's a hole. That scared me. I wasn't expecting a hole. Yeah, it's deep right here. So did this work really well or not at all? I can't tell. I can't tell yet. Before I get too far away from my net. Huh? Uh huh? Where'd they, where'd they're, they are? They're, maybe they're all right here. Oh, I just saw a bunch of boil right here. Oh yeah, they're, they're, Oh, they're, oh, we got some. A massive crappie right okay. here. Okay. I got crappie, bluegill, and trout. The old trio. Let's go, boys. That's a good bluegill too. That's a keeper. Look at the old, the old three piece here. All right. Well, let's start unloading the fish. I don't think it worked great, did it? Uh, there's a lot of fish right here. Is there? <laughs> yeah. Here comes the old bucket. Yeah. Look out. Trout, crappie, and a bluegill. Oh, bluegill oh. missed. Hang on. I see him. Look at that. He's a keeper. All right. Up she goes. Oh, giant crappie, dude. Yeah, I'd say, Holy there was, cow. There was one somewhere right in front of me. Holy yeah, cow. Look at the size of this guy. There's some keggers in here. Shoo, doggy. There it is. Crappie going up. All right. This is not all that efficient. I really should get more water out of here, but how'd that scoop go treat you? Not well. Uh, you can't tell me every fish is in between you and me right now. I have a hard time believing it. Huh? You're right. I can't tell you that. I've really, we got to, yeah, this water's got to go. I don't know how else we're going to do it. They're not there, are they? You got one. What'd you get? Trout? Two big trout. Okay. Well, hey, that's better than nothing. That's better than nothing. Look at them suckers. Dude, that's a big dog too. Oh God. Yeah, are they in there? There's more fish there. Maybe they're in there. We just don't know it. That one got, that one got away. We got one trout. All right, here, do you mean squallies come over? Sweep along the, like the base of it right there. Yeah, there's like that. Really? Is that baby blue? Yeah, it's a baby blue gill. A good one? Uh, yeah, that's a red ear. That's actually what, exactly what we want. A little shell cracker action. All right, so there's a cry. I just saw that crappie. I also was touching trout when I reached that. Trout. Big, big trout. Big, big daddy trout. Ah, buddy. Dude, this is the slimiest son of a gun. Okay, we got okay. We got crappie, hybrid bluegill, and it looks like a true bluegill. I think this looks like a hybrid. Yeah. Is that massive one the hybrid? Yeah. Trout. Unfortunately, we don't want those. But yeah, see his mouth so freaking oh, big, dude. big mouth. You don't want him. But this other bluegill in here, this, we don't want this crappie either. But this guy, he looks normal. 
Yeah. Like purple like that with a tiny little mouth, that's one you're after. This is definitely how professional fish hatchery people do it, right? The five gallon bucket strat. Yeah, let's go, the old blind strat. Crappy. So our saying net didn't say net well, telling me, Big Junior. Yeah, we probably got like 10 fish out of like 400. Uh oh. Yeah, this water's really, I was really expecting to be able to get it out. It's like thigh deep almost. There's just too, too much water. Oh yeah, big, big something. Big old crappie, oh, bunch of bluegills. That was way better than yeah, what we did. Yeah, that's a ton of bluegills. Yeah. We need like two of these. Yeah, we just need a bunch of nets. That crappie is go get you a cast net too? <laughs> I could try. Just stand in there and toss it. Cast net might work. Cast net will be really good for that. That's yeah, okay, so we got good crappie and all these bluegills look good to me. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, these are, all, these are all good to go. Good stocking size too. We might need a cast net. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. There's no way you're gonna effectively get them all, right? Here, walk with me like this. You say what? Walk. With, well, you can keep this. Okay. Or just like walk with your feet and get them all. And get them at the end. Go to a corner. So, we're just, so we are the we are the same net. Sweep somewhere in here. Oh yeah, I'm touching lots of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big Junior is the same net. You're one with the same net, Big Junior. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. We got trout and a bunch of bluegills, it looks like. This is a hybrid right there, right? What is that? That's a walleye. What? That's a walleye. No, it's a perch. Oh, you think it's a perch? Do we put perch in here? I don't know yet. Oh, maybe we did. I'll tell you in a second. Let me count the spines. Yeah, perch is bad. I mean, yeah, it's gotta be a perch. I thought it looked more like a walleye. Well, they're in the walleye. It doesn't. It doesn't look like a perch. He's really. He's really long. I don't know. Yeah. That is a baby walleye. That's is it? Yeah, that's a baby that's walleye. That's what I thought. No, that ain't him. I seen him unless he fell through the net. Can we put the walleye in? Uh, walleye bad. I swear, I saw a shell cracker, dude. I agree with He's, you. He, he was that, vibrant. There was one that was a weird color, yes. He, he, how do you fall through the net? Ow, fuck. Uh, Either way, if it's, a if it's a shell cracker, we're fine, but I don't know where he went. I, I saw him, too. He might have fallen through the net. But those are all good blue. Yeah, these are all good to go. This big junior saying net service. All right, should we do that again where we walk? I mean, I feel like using a net would make more sense, but we did way better that time, so maybe not. Okay. We're gonna scare him to one side. Oh, we got a few. Yeah. There's, There's a so lot more right stuff here. in here. Oh, yeah. You got another freaking walleye or perch or whatever. That's a walleye, That's dude. A walleye. Them perch don't have them tall dorsals like that. Nope. Or that sharp ass gill plate. Yeah, I think the rest are good though. Did you? Didn't you guys put perch in here? Yeah, but I thought they were walleye. Or I thought they were perch, not walleye. That's a walleye. These are all clean. Jake. <laughs> Hard stripes. Oh, you missed a big one. Missed a big one. Get a big he, he's, one. he's gone. Man, I'm missing a few, didn't I? What happened there? Oh god, yeah. Oh my god. Oh god, yeah. Dude, see, those, them, them vibrant ones are shell crackers. We're good on them. Oh. Yeah, see that him? Yeah, yeah. This thing? Mm hmm. Dude, yeah. that's See, it's got a red ear. Yeah, see, it's got a little hint of red on it. Dude, that thing is sweet. There's yeah. a bunch of those in this one. Like, All right. Four of them. We got a bunch more perch and a bunch of bluegills. All right, boys, we got the old buffet here. I'll show you what we're dealing with. So we got perch in here, some type of walleye perch looking thing. And then these are them hybrids we're talking about. They're not hybrids, they're actually uh, red ears. So they got the little red dot behind their ear. So those are good, call them shell crackers. They're supposed to eat snails that give your other fish parasites. Really? And that's why you put them in. Pop ah, we missed one. Healthy population of bluegill. You're supposed to have them mixed in there. Way better than uh, the same net, I'll tell you that much. All right, big junior sweeping. Yes, sir, a bunch of them. And a frog. Really? Like a leopard frog? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Oh, look out. We got another perch and perch two, two and good gills. Three, there's three. There's three. Right? Three good bluegills. And then a perch and the old froggy. Three good gills. Going up. Should we try we walking with this net thing again or what? I feel like the net's got to work better than not using the net, right? Try to scoop it up. Would you catch bluegills? Bluegills and red ears. I don't know what that oh, was. Don't touch me again. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. What did you just. <laughs> what was that? No. Jesus. <laughs> Did you not see him? He's like, oh, oh, oh. I think the two raiders and two bluegills, yep, right? Yep, yep. Ah! I wasn't expecting that. These guys are ready to rip. It's not as efficient as this probably could be. Dude, this is definitely. It's fun, though. It is fun. It's a surprise every time you come up with it, but it'd be nice if we could just get the water out of here. There they are. All right, three good ones going in hot. Oh, big crappie. Big crappie. You wait till you see this thing. Look at that. Holy smokes. Wow. That's a mature one. I Is feel that like. Not massive? You, you almost eat that sucker. Hey, look out. All right. I say we try the net one more time. Maybe we'll do better. I mean, it ain't going to do worse, right? I don't know what else. Oh, oh. Something's big. Something big. How do you, what do you want to do, sir? Try to use the net. 
Oh, you got quite a few. Wow. Wow. Big G just got the old mother load. Oh, God, yeah. Look at that. Oh, dude, that was big. What the There's hell no was way that, that was a that crappie. Crush just the same that was time. large. There's something big. Oh, that's a bullfrog. This guy. That's yeah, a, it is. That's a bullfrog. Yeah, he did. Yeah, this is a bullfrog tab for, right? Bullfrog yeah. Really yeah, I'd say you can take all this, just pull the trout. Pull the trout? Yeah, I'll sort it up the, here. The rest, you're clean. That was, whatever that thing was that. That whatever. was not a trout or a crappie. No. It was m not small at all. Find a way just to do this. Okay. All right, let's try the same that. See if we can get them all wrangled again. Oh. Catching some, big stuff? Yeah, something just hit. There's something big in there now. I say it feels really hard. I, oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, this has got to be working, right? I think we got a bunch of fish in this one. Yeah, dude, this is heavy. Are you catching fish? Yeah, this feels is, really heavy. heavy. I can see them kicking through that. You ready to see so, how can we, yeah, just do that? Yeah. Loaded. Oh, God, yeah. Big old crappie. Massive crappie. That worked pretty good, actually. Big old crappie. Sheesh. Going in the bucket. How'd that work? How are there, oh, there's some in there. What is that? Big old trout. trout. Dude, that is a giant trout, isn't it? Like, how's the saying that not work better than what it is now? They're all in there, dude. They're just, they're just, they're just here. Kobe. Got it. What? What? Oh, giant Ooh. trout. Giant trout. Got it. He, right in front. Giant trout. I had to have just gotten so many fish. Oh, there it is. There's the saying that dreams are made of. You, wow. You look at it. these suckers, dude. Trout, bluegills, crappie. Oh, yeah. That was, that was it. I think we might have got her dialed. Oh. Ah. Wow, that was the That's that was the run. All right, moment of truth, boys. Oh, we got a few. What is, is that? A bluegill? That? Is that a bluegill? Oh, that's one of them hybrids, son. Dude, that's a. I'm gonna go ahead and say. Is that a kegger? That's one of them. I think that's what. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got a big. Ah uh, ah. Uh. That would be your hybrid, my friend. He's slippery. In case you're curious. Yeah, how you know is he's got the mouth of a freaking. Yeah, that's a large, large mouth. mouth. Bag. Look at that. That's a hybrid. All right, what three else we got? Ones. Three good ones. Yeah, three good bluegills, little guys. Four. Oh, all right. All right, we got another one in here. Oh yeah. Oh, there they are. There's a bunch. We got trout, crappie, bluegills. Ah, oh, womp womp. Yeah, there's gonna be a trout in there. I promise you that. Huh? Why are we so bad at this? Where'd he go? I feel like we gotta get rid of this water. Okay, there's some. No, oh, that's wow. where they were. That's yeah. where they were. There's a lot of fish right that's there. That's a good bluegill too. The yeah. big one is. Yeah, these are both good. That one is real big. Yeah, he's good to go. That's a giant. See the difference? Oh, so the difference between this guy and the one I was just holding. Look at the mouth. So if I try to open it here, there. See, look. That was a good one. Womp womp. <laughs> womp, womp. See, he's got a small mouth, but these big ass crappie, they got them big old mouths, okay? The minnow, call them a minnow mouth. If they can eat a minnow, you don't want it. I don't like grabbing them like this, but I got them. Hey, we got them. I like how that big bluegill flopped outside the net. Too. Oh, womp womp. Why am I so bad at this? Yeah, yeah, that big bluegill, we gotta get him. He's a good one. That's that's the kind you want, buddy. He's gone. He's gone oh, for you. That got me fish. Yeah, another big, that's a good one too. I'll try not to get rid of him. So this wow. is another good one. He's huge. Try to hold on to him a little better. So his mouth, so small. I mean, I can barely even, he, he's pissed. You don't even want to do it. There it is. See, look how small that is compared to his body. The other one was just as big and his mouth was like this. Yeah. Good bluegill. Oh yeah, a little crappie. All right, might need to do another run. I would say so. Oh, let's go. That actually works kind of good. <laughs> there it is. All right, another run. Going the other way now. Oh, I just saw a trout back. Really? Ready? I think so. That's the bottom of it, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yes, yeah. That, that's a hybrid. All right, I'll show you guys this. That's a kegger, too. Yeah. See, these ones that you can lip? Dude. These are no bueno. Lots of fun to catch, but no bueno for the bass pond. That's the old hybrid, though. Tadpoles, bullfrogs, crappie, tree trout. Oh, there's good bluegill in there, too. All right. Dump them in. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. oh. What are you talking uh, about? Huh. Uh, no. I think that was a good scene. Oh, he come. Oh, we got him. That's a good one. Big bluegill. That's a good one, too. When they got that purple color, they're usually good. Yes. Yeah, he's like iridescent. Look at him. He's good to go. Into oh, the bucket. Another one. All right. Let's see if we can get them all in. Yeah, that's a freaking bucket that there. A bucket of fish. That's a bucket of fish, buddy. Yep. Crappie. Two crappies. Two crappies. Don't want to spill that one. Yeah, I'm trying not to spill that bucket. 
All right, that's that's a good bucket there, boys. I think you got a couple good ones, and most of them are bad. All right, you can give her one more. One more sweet. Yep. Yep. Scrappy. Oh! No, you got it, Big Jim. Don't re you rip my tarp. We're gonna have a bigger property. Here, okay? <laughs> you don't want to use the safety line. Can't tear that line up, though. Hey, oh, he here. got it. No way. Now you got to get out. Oh, God. I feel like I should use the line. No, wouldn't that be easier? Oh. That's too steep, though. Oh, you got it. What? Oh, dude, my that's... fingernails are in half. Uh, there's no way. You got it. I believe in you, Oh, sir. dude, there's zero way. It's this you got to get up where it's dry, for sure. I know. Dude, this is, this is still slick. You got to, like, lean back against it, you know? Yeah, oh, I mean, I know, but I don't know <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I feel like if this rope was where he was, or even, that's not, that's nice. I feel like the shallowest corner is that corner. I think so? I mean, I, if I go off where he got all wet, I feel like I'm just not if, doing if it. If we toss you down the red rope and me and him both hold it, you can and definitely hold on. climb you can always pull, pull, If you just pulled the mule forward, that would work too. Should I try that corner? Yeah, try that corner. Just pull the mule forward. He's <laughs> <laughs> killing Everest. Eh. That ain't big deal. I got it, buddy. Hey, that wasn't bad. Hey, See, really that worked. Well, right what do we? What, what was the harvest? I feel, like, harvest? I feel like it's good. We're leaving fish there, but we're doing what we can. So this is the bad tank? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. There's a lot of fish in there. Yeah. There's a lot good. of fish. Put your hand in there. This is the good tank. Yeah. Look at him, buddy. I'm going to eat you for lunch, son. Yes, we are. Look at you. I mean, look at the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, son. Straight kagers, buddy. Straight kagers. Oh, yeah. These are There's all There's a lot ones. of little ones in there, too. Nice. All right. <sighs> Should we put these guys back? Sure. Slip and slide. Run them down the slide. All right, you're going back. That was a lot of fish. That was a lot of fish. Throw a cast net there right now. Some may or may not die, but hey, that's just part of it. Well, we don't want these guys to die, so let's take them down to the pond. We've made it to the pond. In case you're curious, pond still looks like the pond. So we're going to drain the water, and that way we can really see what we're dangling with here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Look He's out. good. All right. Oh, God, yeah, look oh, at him look go. Look at how clear that is. That's Dude, that's so cool. sweet. You guys. Oh yeah, this There's is some tiny getting, getting there. This is good sorting. Right here. It's probably, I was just gonna open it and let me put my hand over it. So oh, all another one. Fish in the way. Oh god, yeah. Look at him get it. Dude, it's so close. Oh wow. There you go. There you go. What are we looking like? We're getting there. That was good. There's leaves getting there you go, buddy. That one was. Here comes a bluegill. Oh, here comes a, another one. Look at that guy. And another one. Wow. They're trying to follow the. like birthing them right now. Look at this. He's <laughs> red ears, huh? There they go. There they go. Oh, stop I got it. One going on over here. Kobe. <laughs> there, look at That's a lot of bluegills, dude. Yeah. I yeah, mean, dude. wow. See, so double check, but I think they all look good to me. I don't see no problem with them. Look at, look at Big Mommy. Oh. That's the old breeder, son. Look at her. Go make a bed or do something productive. Oh, where you go? Hey, turn around. Go, go to the deeps. There it is. Dude, she gone. That's so clear. She gone. Look, what's he doing? You think this guy's gonna be our friend? That's Fred. Yeah, yeah that's Fred. Get him, Fred. He's our buddy. Get him, Fred. He's gonna chill right here, brother. Yeah, right. You got He's a little cold still. Oh, here's Fred's wife. There you go. You hang out, dude. That's a lot. Look at these big ones, dude. That's Look a out. Kegger. Big old Sheila's. There you go, mommy. Get out there. Go do something productive. Oh god, yeah. You make babies. Oh yeah. You gone. I mean, with all these little ones, there's got to be over 100 easy. I, I, I mean, was trying look, to count when they were going in, and I was above 60 for yeah. sure. I mean, look look at all these. I bet it's closer to 100. Look at all them suckers, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a ton of little ones. All right, here, let's just move the cooler a little closer. We can give them a little dump. You can ski. see them forever. Watch for Fred. Look, Fred. Fred, get in the lake. All right, give her the dump ski, boys. Oh, yeah, there they go. Look at them getting it. Dude, wow. So wow. We have officially stocked the pond with big game fish. But we're not done. Now these guys are in here. They need something to eat. It's time for feeder. You don't really usually want to run a feeder in the winter and the cold months. This water, honestly, is not that cold. I think it's time to go get a feeder and uh, get these guys munching. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, time to put out that feeder. So bam, here's the pond. We actually just seen some minners. Okay, I don't know if they're still here or not. Uh, I don't see them anymore. They, there was a school of them right here. If you guys saw a video, we stocked minners in here, okay? So they're still alive. And I, I haven't seen the herons for one day. They didn't come out today. So hey, maybe maybe we're onto something there. Should, but what's that? I want to put the underwater drone in here and go swimming around that car. And see that would be free. Fish are that would be in. cool. Oh, that'd be cool if all the minnows are in there. They could be hanging out. You, you see anything, Big Junior? One right here. 
Just a minnow? a minnow? Really? Whoa, you see the turkey tracks? No, those are heron tracks. I was going to say, what if those are heron tracks? They're heron tracks. They're in the water, big junior. Uh-oh. Ha that heron's all fired up. You see a minnow or what? Look, is that not one minnow chilling by itself right there? Oh, yeah, he is. He's moving. Look, he's oh, God, yeah. Around. Oh, yeah, you got one. Well we got, well, we got one minnow. Well, we don't know where our bluegills are at. They're going to do bluegill things, but hopefully spawning season comes, they start doing spawn. But, we've, but we got the, uh, what do you see? There's a Lucy minnow. Oh, rip. She got that one. Yeah, rip. We've got the uh, feeder ready to set out. So we're, we've got two different kinds of feed. We've got like really fine stuff that like minnows would like. And then we've got actual pellet, like floating and sinking pellets that the bluegills will like. So I think where we're going to put it is right here next to the gun room vault rock pile right here. Because this is so much steeper that it's going to take a while for the water to get to this part. It's going to go everywhere else first. And it kind of gives you a little bit of an arc, especially with today's wind coming from the south. It should blow it. And if we, even if we get a little bit north wind, it should blow it that way. So that's the plan. Let's get the feeder out. I don't expect them to eat on camera. Can we just put them in? But I'm going to say within like two weeks, it should just look like freaking piranha. So stay tuned. Oh, that's heavy. I don't have a hold of it. So. <laughs> okay. You're just going west. Well, oh yeah. Where's the opening at? Is it on your, this side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can sit her down there. It's not level, so. There's a lot of rocks right here that Hang I'm on. walking inside of. Oh! That was a mistake. Yeah, your back's toast. Yeah, she's gone for a while. Oh! Dude, this, these are heavy. These are like real heavy. Oh yeah! No, we're going down. Yeah. She's a little crooked, but hey. You seen probably a skinny one on that. I mean, that's gonna. Is that just defeating the purpose to build the back up after you built the front? <laughs> yeah. I mean, she ain't gonna go nowhere, is she? I don't think so. Especially when you fill in the no, trajectories. That away. That yeah, let's, way. Let's fill it up. You bring the battery. The battery's in there. Huh? There's a battery in there on the ground, on the floor. There is. There's also a battery back there. Yeah, you got that one, yeah. Oh, the motherboard here. Oh, that goes here. I see now. I'll try with the one I brought. It's got a little juice on it. Oh. No, wonderful. Okay, we got juice. We fill her up. Again. Battery says good. This is battery charging. Yeah, we'll move the, the solar to the least probably. All right, what time do we you want this sucker to feed, Big Junior? We got 7 a.m. How many times a day? We, you up to nine. Dude, good three job. times a day probably? Yeah, three meals a day. Oh, That's no, today, right now, the time. what's the time right now, Big Junior? Uh, it is 2.18 in the afternoon. This food smells bad. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. Yeah, it is pretty stinky, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, 218. First feed. Let's do it in the morning. It's like a 7 a.m. Right there. They don't they ain't sleeping in like you, Big Junior. They're oh. they're up ready. Alright, we'll do five seconds. Seven a.m. Feed number two. I got a noon right now, so we'll just leave it at noon. Look, we're already ready. We got five p.m. already on here. The test run. Okay, we gotta fill it up first. Oh yeah. What which kind do you have? No idea. Feels real small feels real small. You have starter. So right. I would just put like, dump a little bit, dump a little bit, dump a little bit, dump a little bit. You know what I mean? I mean, look at that. That is a concoction. If that don't grow big fish, I don't know what will. That looks pretty good. I'd eat some of that. Uh-huh. No, Your I definitely wouldn't. That's gross. Stink now. Test it? Test it. All right, let's see here. 7 a.m. for five seconds, noon for five seconds, 5 p.m. for five seconds, 7 p.m. four seconds. Start with that. You don't want to overfeed because then your pond gets all gross. It says stand back, counting down from 10 seconds. Uh -oh. This is going to be a five second shoot, I guess you want to call it. Uh oh. Uh oh, here we go. Oh. This is barely making it. We got a lot of food on the ground. I think we might just have to get closer to the old water. That is unfortunate because it is now full. <laughs> Great observation. Yeah, I mean, you really got to have that sucker close, huh? I mean, if we put blocks down, that would keep it up. I mean, the water would have to come up quite a bit. Yeah. But, and then, yeah, we might just want to, yeah, we probably. Mm. This might be a three man job now. Mm. Oh, God. She ain't light. All right, well, it worked. We're going to get a reposition. Stay tuned. All right, another test, boys. We got her moved. Look how close she is to the water up here. She's, she's sitting pretty. We got her elevated for the right trajectory. It's going to be the optimal fishing side, hopefully. All right, here we go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah! Way okay, now we're talking. We're on to something here. Yeah. That's dumping right in like three foot of water. That's perfect. That's money. That's five seconds. So that'll happen like four ish times a day. Yeah. Why is she so good? The longest five seconds. 
seconds I've ever seen. No kidding. That's quite a bit. So there's a chance we'll slim it down a little bit. We, I mean, we put in we put yet. in a decent amount of bluegills. Yeah. But that's all, that. Don't, I'll come check it out. Well, we, how you'll know is if you come back after like an hour of feed. I've always heard like if, if there's any food left after an hour, you're feeding them too, too much. much. So they should be yeah. able to eat it in an hour and be done. So once these guys get acclimated, we'll come back and you know if we need to readjust it, we can readjust it. But officially, we've got the good bluegills stock some big old Sheila's. Okay, we probably got a hundred bluegills in here now. You saw we put ten thousand minnows in here. Now we're working our way. The next thing we're probably gonna do is probably get a bunch of bluegills, probably like three or four thousand bluegills. But they're gonna end up being a little bit smaller ones. The idea is you want them to be like two to three inches. Oh, Enough, look at what the do school. you see? They're oh, coming. there they are. There they are. The minnows are coming. They're coming. To they're feet. getting the feet. Yeah. Hey, see they get it. They're smart. The idea is that you get the bluegills that are like three inches that are that will spawn, and basically you just want them to reproduce, 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 reproduce. Then we put the bass in in like September. So unfortunately, we're not gonna have bass in here for a little while. But we're just going to try to get an absolute insane amount of bait put in here and hopefully get that bait growing via the feeder and hopefully they start get doing the nasty that's what really what we're after what we're after this just pretty much just has to be one big fish orgy in order to reproduce mm -hmm. was that too far or is that i mean that, that we, we just put them in here to breed did we not i mean yeah. it's technically it's the truth it's the truth technically the but the next up besides stocking is some more structure okay the next structure video you guys will see hopefully we're gonna get a bunch of like pvc pipes and make just a bunch of really big artificial elaborate ones but we're still looking for that one item the one we, i'm thinking school bus helicopter airplane maybe like a train like just like a, a chunk a train like a one like a chunk of a train with a caboose give me a caboose with no oils and and gas otherwise epa gets look at buddy what's he doing look at buddy what's he He's doing coming to feed Get it. I tell you right now, he wouldn't make it if there's predators in there. <laughs> yeah, he ain't very nimble. Anyways, let me know what we should put for the pond next as far as structure goes. Obviously, the pond is coming up rather quick, so we've got to move super fast. So go ahead and comment down below what should we put in the pond. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And peace.